Welcome back one and all, we're getting ready for the second match here in the NA region. Joining me for that is Mitch and Rosemary. And you, dear people watching, can join us in the Face It League. If you happen to play competitively or semi-competitively or maybe just for fun. Uh, turns out we actually have some teams in the OWCS um, group stages who are also just here for the lols and they somehow made it into the group stage. So everything is possible in the world of Overwatch. Actually, the two teams we have coming up, I personally don't know that much about. There is a few players I may have seen in collegiate, etc. But overall, lots of enigmas. Let's take a look at our next two contenders. We are finding ourselves in an elimination match between visor and who is goldfish and quite frankly the only player here i'm familiar with is lava from uh their time with um oh, ohio see. state university yeah that, that's it everyone else i'm just like don't know let's see so obviously this team has the unenviable sort of circumstances of, of getting 0-3 by bill ducks but it was pretty close. Uh, a pretty back and forth kind of game, so wouldn't sort of read too much into that. They still have a chance to stay alive here. Who is Goldfish? That is the perennial question. This is a team that, well, I think what they played, Toronto. Uh, so yep. there's zero to, to really take away from that game. Uh, yeah. I don't know if there's much opportunity to really show what you've got against a team that can be so oppressive. But both these rosters have an opportunity to put a lot out there now for their survival and potential advancement out of this group. But Necro actually dug really deep uh, to give us some biz lore here. Biz lore? <laughs> <Hit us Ultra? laughs> biz lord from the world. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the world wide web. Uh, so if I'm not mistaken, Biz is Byzantine, who also played on the Good Boy roster, which is now known as Visored. Uh, so there may be, be a little bit of, of like inter-team beef. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure. I, you know what? I, Never let the truth get in the way of a good story, is what I say. <laughs> yeah, okay. So yeah, Biz, Biz is trying to grudge against their old That's team. It. No, they're actually beefing. Like, we're talking folding chair level beef. <laughs> Let's see a play out here on Oasis. Kick of these off pretty darn quickly here. As he was going for shorty, lay their claim to the high ground. Notice the two fish is low, so you've got to be a little bit careful with that Kiriko being exposed, and my goodness, it doesn't matter if they were low or not, that rail headshot's going to take you out of the game one way or another. And that's going to be a really opening big pick here for who is Goldfish, uh, so maybe we will finally get a chance to have an answer to that question, uh, because you're right, Mitch, like the fact that they lost 3-0 to Toronto Defiant when Toronto Defiant played off rolls into them really doesn't tell us yeah. very much about them as a team. And so this is our first good look, I think, into what this team can provide, and I'm looking at Azurf right now as a big Sojourn player. Yeah, great opener. Yeah, you know, huge shot there to, to crack things right open. This, who's Goldfish team, by the way, formed a group chat like an hour before, like, they had to sign up. So they really just, like, came together at very late notice here and made it all the way to the top 16. That's huge, but can they go further? Goldfish, beautiful kunai, that's pretty sweet, but who's Goldfish losing their second player in this fight? Virtual hoping to try and scratch the paint here off of this sojourn. Azeroth under a lot of pressure. Great response by Dust, though, the peel, or rather Lavu. Getting involved. Sticks growth though. This tracer play. Pretty darn clean. Virtue gets rid of the Winston now and buys it. Collapse into who is Goldfish. Oh, even stole the health pack away. Does not get out with his life though. So while Virtue is trying to chase down that kill, it's going to be to no avail. That's actually going to buy some time here for who is Goldfish to come back into this one with ultimates. Uh, the first up on the docket, it feels like this rush. Two later. Trying to pressure Dust down, but they are healthy and have primal. Decent time for a beat, I'd say. Everyone on Vice took a ton of poke damage at the start of that fight, but who is Goldfish have stacked all their ultimates and are letting both support ones go. Virtue down to another headshot from the Sojourn. Love the predicted pulse bomb placement there, but Zoolander is still able to avoid it. It doesn't matter. Vice in full scale retreat. In full scale retreat, but they did get out four ultimates from who is Goldfish. Now it's going to be down to Dust's Primal Rage to see if that might be enough to sort of batter away the rest of the Visor onslaught. There's a bit of a wraparound there, as you can see. Visor trying to take maybe a bit of this, like, under room, maybe try to go through main. Uh, but the dive is initiated now as Lava jumps up to the high ground. Yeah, a little spaced out from the Sojourn here, so it just kind of goes for the Primal, I think, to have some more lethality. But, I mean, Azeroth is being attended to constantly by Goldfish, so there's no kill potential there for Lava at all. And they're forced to disengage. That Primal goes for nothing. Nothing! Nothing? Nada? Zilch! Zero. Back to Dusty over there. Yeah, I'm gonna push up a little bit more. 
Yeah, Vyza definitely being sent express back to the proverbial Lumbridge. Well, 86% comes up here for who is Goldfish and Dust can play oh, okay now maybe they were hoping a primal there i don't think they were ready for a kunai and shot but you've got to respect the burst damage kiriko can dish at that close range so that's an opening here for visit they'll have an uncontested point flip oh well not before biz is able to take out virtue so what is happening with virtue? <laughs> dust is coming back in uh, i don't know maybe you get a little too big for the britches well yeah just a couple of overextensions right after winning fights that fortunately won't be compounded too much as Amadian has actually uh, managed to smooth things out somewhat. The primal that Dust was hoping to use earlier now comes out. Now I want to find two fish with it. Force the slide out of the sojourn. The virtue here is on the hunt, chasing down the Lucio. Reverse eventually gets brought down. So Visa get to keep the point for now. That's a really big pick too. I think that maybe while it looked a little goofy that Virtue got taken out so early, uh, they come back in time to steal the health pack away, and now they also have the Pulse Bomb to boot. Uh, so, uh, oh, U.S. Goldfish still have the ultimate advantage. Uh, they have the Katsune Rush, which Two Fish does not. Um, also with the sound barriers, who can beat later should win. As a not the most amazing angle here, but got a free shot forcing an instant recall out of Virtue. Here's that barrier. Rava went very, very low, and uh, the later beat, like you mentioned, pretty big here for reverse. Zoolander under a lot of pressure right now, struggling to stay in the fight, and Lava's really got nowhere to go. They ignore the wisdom for the time being is Amadi, and is definitely the higher priority target. And now that a soldier and Vice have very little kill potential of their own, Virtue dies back in again. Very aggressive all throughout this map so far, but they have to pull out instantly. They're trading uh, stall time on the looks of things now as Lava finds a primal. Ooh, okay. Slide from the Azrof Sojourn there. Keeping them within range of Lava, so they're able to juggle them up against the corner of the map here. Eventually brought down by Virtue. Stick is fine. Lava a little bit low now, but where's the rest of the damage here? From this squad, who is Goldfish putting it together in the last couple of moments here? At least taking that Winston down. The Virtue's still up. They're still alive and kicking. Dust has a primal rage now, but where does it go? Into the back corner. They've done a great job of spotting the Kiriko. Another juggle kill. Dust claims the lion's share of the healing from Vicet. Dust is going to be able to walk away with murder here, too. The Sombra's back just in the nick of time to get a bit more damage down, but uh, it should be just a matter of seconds before the rest of Visor crumble. Yeah, Biz, Biz did a great job, I think, chasing Amani and down. They knew where the translocator was going to be, so the Sombra had no chance to get health, let alone get back into the fight. Beautiful flip around by who is Goldfish. They started the round really well, and they eventually come out with a dub. This is going to be a competitive one. I could feel it. You feel it too. That was super close, 99 to 100. I feel like every time we see that, we're in for a, a really good time. Uh, and it was hard, so hard to tell where these teams stacked up against each other based on their previous results. Even uh, just in their Swiss rounds, let alone what happened in the groups. I'm super excited to see if we can start to see some new, fresh faces enter into the true heights of competitive overwatch and i'm looking right now at just what kind of uh, extra bit of damage these dps can provide here because they've been such big difference makers on a lot of these teams well i'd say yeah with the winston mirror we saw a lot of like space for individual skill to be manifested there for, especially from the dps on both sides i thought the winston play was pretty tight in general as well virtue here in the last map overextending a little bit after one fight it's kind of giving up their life unexpectedly and Giving Visor a chance, or rather, who's Goldfish a chance to get back into those rounds. That extra couple of percent could have made a huge difference in the end. So they'll look to tighten things up now if they can. Dust under a lot of pressure. Difficult matchup for the Winston to play into here as Visor want to get an advantage in the tank roll. Oh yeah, you can't jump the Orisa, but you could go after somebody like Amadian on this Cassidy. Virtual again picked off at the start of the fight. As opposed to the end, I suppose. That's a difference. Lava body block there. Great job by Dust. Using their bulk to make it so the Orisa could not get back to a safe zone. This dive is so nice. A very aggressive team, and they're showing great coordination for one that forms so close to the start of uh, the roster lock. Yeah, I, you just have to pay attention to one individual shot caller, and as long as the rest of the pieces fall into place there, it's pretty easy to take out your opposition like dominoes. But as Visor starts to move back in, they're really hoping that Twofish is going to get this Kitsune rush online to help open up this fight. Otherwise, who is Goldfish is going to go after that backline again? And who should also be first on the menu? Yeah, they were very low. I think like a ton of poke in that side room. Very heads up bubble earlier there from Dust as Azraf went very low. Wayward pulse bomb there from Biz and uh, insult to injury added as Virtue is able to follow up on the kill. Opening the fight positively this time around. 
And I can see the Russian mentioned he's up on both sides, Rose. Oh, well, they gotta back away for a little bit because the dust is too low. Oh. But what is this? What? I'm That's not so sure about this one. And she gets punished again. Oh, dear. Now. They're so aggressive, but it's getting used to exploit them at this stage. Now, who's going for say, right, well, we're not going to spend a support ultimate yet. We're just going to run back to point now with this overclock. Too much damage for Lava to deal with. And no Visor damage to add to the stack. That is brutal with Virtue out of the fight. They really just have to back up. Uh, what a wasted Kitsune rush as well. Uh, I felt like so unnecessary in that moment, even if you wanted to be able to push them back. And what made it worse is that punish of that overextension. So Visor lose control of the point. Who is Goldfish get like 30%? Yeah, and now they're gonna get rushed. Dead Eye here. Sam Mary comes out just to inoculate who is Goldfish from the Dead Eye, but still does sound to be picked off. So Vice now start on the front foot once more. They got all in the plane though. Heading over to the point that managed to corral all of who is Goldfish into that side room. And it's Carnage. Though she gets rid of the team's namesake. And there is no way for Azrof to go. Well, now Visor is able to get that flip back, and it was a nice coordination there of the Deadeye on that off flank there from Amadian, and then you also just had a greatly timed sound barrier from Zoolander. Uh, just enough to be able to pincer in who is Goldfish and bully them off of that point. But still so back and forth, and we're back in this position where either team could take this. The, the ultimate economy is fairly even across the board, so what could this Primal Rage do to disrupt so that Azeroth can get a big shot? Dust there. Okay, basically ignoring that terror surgery. No one seemed to be caught in. A goldfish gets brought down by lava. The follow up here from Vice has been very, very good. This is a second consecutive big fight win for the team in red. Dust's primal does nothing more but give them the space to run away. They flatten the Marty in at least on the retreat. But turning that to an advantage seems impossible from here. He got at least of the Kitsune rush. Uh, so maybe Visor is able to even up the. Mar the score on this map so far uh, but i'm kind of looking at like the cassidy still needing to find a big pop-off moment and hopefully virtue does not overextend in this fight virtue's been able to find good first kills in the last couple mm -hmm. that has not been a coincidence in terms of how it turns into fight wins as we're awkward angle's not great fortify use instantly on lava as they force their way out into the open Kitsune Rush means there's going to be more than enough healing here for Viasit to stand proudly on the point, and Biz is giving the hot foot. Forced to try and stay away as Virtue opted for a Tracer duel briefly. But Amadian has no pressure on them right now. Well, as I say that, here comes Biz. Forced to recall. Oh my goodness, that's clean. Amadian with a two shot there on reverse, and now following it up with the Dead Eye. Bubble protecting dust for a time, and Goldfish using the Kitsune Rush to desperately heal the tank up, but it's not enough. This doesn't happen quick enough either. Vise it here as the smoke clears, they will stand proud. And they've been able to get this one back over who is Goldfish. Okay, we'll go to a decider then. I'm happy with it. I think that a lot of maybe the first picks you were seeing onto Virtue are sort of the the aftermath of it being such a risky play style. Whether it's going to be a first pick, sometimes you do have to play a little bit more without fear in order to actually find those opening picks for your team. And so, hey, it's working out in this case. Maybe a little bit more scrappy when we head over to a map like City Center, but if we can keep, see Virtue keep that up, then Visor's going to be in a big driver's seat in this next round. Yeah, it looks pretty clean. I think the Arisa comp is just a little more powerful. It suits who is goldfish though, that city center really doesn't benefit the Orisa. True. And not so much against the Winston who could really exploit that map advantage with his verticality. The Bison seem happy enough to sort of play in two modes here. They just seemed a little weaker at the dive comp when we saw it on that first round. But let's see if they can rewrite that script for us straight to the top of the pagola goes dust to set up here. The Winstons will give each other a tickle. High ground over to who is Goldfish. Visor going to play on the street side and playing around this uh, central point means that you are looking for that one chance to strike onto that back line. So Dust is going to be hunting for one of those targets. What I love there? It, Well, I mean, that is integrated, but I think Biz got like a couple of full clips into Lava without any reprisal whatsoever from the rest of Visor. I think there's this like, like, healing. Yeah, they're playing in this room, right? So there's not even a sideline for damage back against the Tracer, who they literally can't see if they're playing in that funnel. Not a great choice of station ground, I think, for Visor, but they do pretty well off the back foot. I'm not going to lie. Amadi has kept topped up, and he rewards that favor with a big kill on the reverse. Nicely done. Who is Goldfish? Overdive there and get punished. 
There you go. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it is about that overextension. And it's, this is not a team that's going to let that go unpunished either. So now, Visor able to take back control of this point as they continue to push who is Goldfish back. Uh, Biz, though, for all of their troubles, does have a pulse bomb online, but Virtue is still working up to one as well. As we wait for the call to see which player Visor is going to try to dive, likely targets will oh, be. They don't need well. to. That was a Just right click from Lava. Sure. Good poke damage here. Marty and Again, you, you really are favored, I think, playing in this choke as Visit. Got way better sidelines here. And it can really punish those individuals that caught out in the open. There's only the Winston bubble to protect you against this stuff, and that's not static. That does not remain. Biz able to find a big pulse bomb though, and the biggest threat that Visit have been boasting in this round so far, but Virtue immediately trades it back. Dust is down. There's no tip of the spear to dive with here, but a beautiful counter headshot from Azraf takes Virtue down, and that wasn't even their fault. They weren't even overextended necessarily. That was just beautiful stuff from the soldier. That was just a really good skill shot. But now that we have seen who's goldfish set back onto the point, uh, Visor get a chance to keep this in their pocket with this primal rage here from Lava. As we're waiting on the cooldown of the slide, goes back to their team. And they're going to be safe in the end, is Lava. Ooh, not so much. Beautiful shot there from Asriff, like clay pigeons, is Lava. Floats lifelessly down to the ground. Dust here playing safely around the pergola, gets the healing when they need it, and is able to dive forward. Still need to try and flip this point back, though, as Vice had made 81%, and Amadian is still a menace here, even in losing fights, finding big picks. If you're Visor, you're really okay with that, though. Having to use the Sound Bear and the Primal Rage, those are going to be the two ultimates to sustain your life on the point. But now you get a chance to put the Onus back into Virtue and Amadian's hands. Their ultimates are going to be online, heading into the next one. Uh, so let's see the DPS duel. Who's going to be the better Tracer? Who's going to get the better Overclock? Virtue pressure heavily. Has to recall in that situation, and Lava's left exposed to another big pulse bomb stick by Biz. I'm telling you, the individual skill here off the DPS and tanks, especially as far as we can see, kind of crazy in this game. It's chaotic, yes, but you can see just how much your Sojourns and Tracers can do under those less refined conditions. Uh, each of their impacts have been so palpable. Uh, whether it's been an opening pick from a soldier and even the pulse bomb kills that we've seen from Biz and Virtue, I think have all been uh, so back and forth. That's why these rounds have been so close, but it's Amadian's time to shine here with the overclock. All right. So decent targets to work with here. Dust gets a Susu there. Maybe just for the invulnerability briefly as they're worried about what Amadian could do with this overclock. Lava a little bit low, there's a pulse bomb available here for Virtue. They deliver it, it doesn't stick, but Amadian had already found Goldfish there with the left click, no less. Now their player advantage vices want to convert on it, but they need to keep Lava in this fight. It is imperative. Dust is close to a primal rage. You'll start to see that Winston go a bit more aggressive. Goldfish here on the respawn, still coming back to the fight, but Asriff deals with their opposite number. Here's that primal. Some serious displacement now, as there's not much the Zoolander can do to help their team. They need to be able to build the sound barrier 3% away, but under extreme duress here. And Dust has the extra jump cooldown. Straight down the gurgler goes Zoolander, and so devises chances of winning the map. Oh my gosh. I've never seen so much commitment to keep a Lucio off of a point. <laughs> I mean, if I all track the beat, that is a very heads up play. Yeah. Uh, either way, I think it might be more simply explained as, oh, I need to kill the player in front of me as quickly as possible. Uh, and sometimes that is what these fights boil down to. Really chaotic. Sojourn obviously creates a game state where, like, so much hinges on whether or not you hit a headshot. That's what hits scan are to Overwatch. But the Pulse Bomb Sticks, especially on the Winstons, have been really good. We do get to see uh, who is Goldfish. Play there more comfortable, I think. Winston dive set up in the mirror. It's another very competitive uh, round. But it is, of course, a Who is Goldfish map win. This series, though, I feel like there's plenty of back and forth to be had here, Rose, if that map is anything to go by. Well, especially when we think about the map pick bans that we have for WCS now, that is something that they can think about if they're thinking, okay, well, Who is Goldfish have a great dive comp. Is there any way that we can alleviate that for ourselves by picking a more Arisa favored map? Uh, so there's definitely a lot of back and forth when it comes to that, on top of the fact that these two teams do feel very evenly skilled. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, like, I didn't mind uh, a little bit of this sombre play briefly, but <laughs> you'll notice that Biz, Biz like, tracks here, Amadian's uh, uh, sort of funny. recall position there. A lot of this is happening, right? I think Virtue 
we are over chasing a little bit here. These teams are really feel like they thrive off momentum built from you know winning fights previously. But like I said, that individual level here, especially from our DPS winner, is the most obvious uh, when it's put on display. Uh, was there in spades from both these teams, and you can kind of see why they're able to make this top 16, despite honestly this competition being really competitive and it's like what 11 rounds of swiss that's a huge amount of play and remember you're getting paired up against teams with like a similar record to you uh, as you advance so I'm, I'm i'm pretty impressed with what we've seen so far from these teams and it's like we said okay you play the toronto defiant you probably don't get to show any of this right you no. you probably are just you know beaten on a very fundamental level but here these teams get to throw haymakers and i am here for it <laughs> I'm super here for it as well. I mean, even across the board, these stats continue to tell us in picture of just how close these two teams are in terms of their skill level. So I'd love to see where we're going next in this series and maybe even what's in store for us after that, because I could totally see this going to a map five if it's going to continue to be this back and forth. I would say, I think an extra, considering these teams have mirrored each other for most of the games, students of the game having an extra 5k uh, damage mitigated, that is like another 25% on top, means that like they're able to get a lot of value out of Orisa's defensive cooldowns there. It's a, it's a small stat and you know obviously stats in Overwatch usually need a lot of context and sort of behind them to expand upon them, but because we have mirror compositions for, for most of the map and you know, uh, and who is Goldfish preferring actually play more Winston even against the Orisa, I think that's quite a telling number. They look very, very good. But now we move away from that more sort of deathmatchy style of gameplay of control to uh, some of our other maps where you definitely do need to have a strong sense of coordination and be able to modulate your game style based on which part of the map you're playing from. It's also so much more forgiving because you don't always have to constantly think about this control point that is ticking up in percentage when you're up against such a tight clock. You can just say, okay, well, oops, we lost somebody. Let's take a step back for a second, wait for them to respawn. And now that's only 10 seconds. We still maybe get like six or seven more attempts to be able to make this attack push if they go fast enough. And, and that is sometimes the breath of fresh air that these teams need in order to make sure that they can execute those game plans with confidence. Yeah, I mean, you touched on something kind of important, is that uh, now, as we get to these other game modes, sometimes like old economy can be even more important, but you can actually disengage. Uh, like a lot of these like hybrid escort uh, style maps or even the push ones. So that's like a, another whole skill set that, that teams have to develop. It's one thing to know when to, to pile in and, and start a fight and have good target calling, but also to recognize when you're wasting time and feeding alt charge over your opponents by sort of remaining in the fight. And I think that like a lot of teams, they develop their macro, the micro shot calling probably first, uh, and then the macro tends to come a little bit later and obviously is heavily assisted by having coaching staff and you know, people to sort of have more of a 10,000 foot view of the situation. So uh, that's another part of the, you know, the pro game is Overwatch player skill set that's going to be you know put on display here a little bit more. But mechanically, I don't think we have any qualms about either of these teams. They are very, very sharp. Nope, they look really good. I think when you look at just the shot calling on both teams as well from where those Winstons were diving or even just throwing all of that out the window and you're like, you know what, Sojourn, go kill. Tracer, yeah. go kill. Like, sometimes, it's coming together. <laughs> sometimes it is that easy. It is that simple. We're going to go to a break, folks, and when we return, we're going to see more from this match that already has ticked our fancy quite somewhat. Of course, it's an elimination match here between Visor and who is Goldfish, so don't go too far. This is, of course, your OWCS group stage for Stage 2. Make history! No way! Ha! This 
Pisces has got my name written all over it. Tectonic Shock is ready to rock! Taking names from strata to stratosphere. my aid. Good always has the last word. Mace to the face. Evil can't hide from my sight. I can be nice. Hard work is rewarded. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out in the break. We are back not too far away from our second match in our second series of North American Play. The OWCS group stage for stage two, and we are in an elimination match. And who is Goldfish and Visor? I'm pulling it all out there because their survival, frankly, hinges on it. Heading over to Eichenwald here. Who is Goldfish taking a hotly contested first map with a heck of a lot of wins to play, Rose? But we got to see some brilliance from both sides, especially in those DPS positions. We really did, but if we're going to talk about Winston play, what better map to show that again than Eichenwald? Uh, and, uh... I... No? Okay. I was like, I don't think so. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, I honestly... I wanted it. I wasn't sure. You know, they're still doing this to us after seven years. I, it is It is just the casters... <laughs> it's our lot in life to get, un, like, unreasonably excited about random picks that people take in spawn. And people like Raktak, they maliciously abuse that. They know exactly what they're doing when they lock that life. <laughs> and we are and we are doomed to fall for it every single time. Every you know, because single you've got time. to believe because we believe in magic. That's why we do this, right? I like yeah. the Junker Queen comp though. This is gonna oh, really be a scary prospect for lava. Oh, I'm so excited if this is actually what they come out of spawn with, because we did No! No, they'd be slow walking! Okay. And are you switching? Cool, very cool. You know what? I'm here for it. Are you? Yeah, that was kind of that was kind of epic. You know what this I mean? There's explosions snake. behind them that they wouldn't turn around to look at. <laughs> that was cinematic. <laughs> this one for the high highlight reel, that's for sure. But who's goldfish are gonna come back out of spawn here with the dive? So let's hear their planning. Monkey, 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 one, monkey, one. New bubble, new bubble three, new bubble yeah. three. They have yeah, shot. No, those two Can we swing? Three, yeah. two, one. Swing on the back line. Swing on the back line. All no, eat, all no, no, no. eat. Oh, we're dead. We're still Keep us up. 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 Boom! What up, baby? Boom! Oh my god, they see nine. <laughs> Boom! Yeah, they're gonna hold close. Okay? How about that? That is very clean. And you know they uphold tradition by calling that a C9 from the defending team. So, I mean, who is Goldfish? Are ticking all the boxes for me right now. That was a very well coordinated dive. It was. It was the walkout. It was the C9 callout. The spin on the payload. 
It's, it's how you tilt your opponent out of the that is, is what we That is that biz <laughs> race, baby. <laughs> All right, Virtue going to be choosing uh, their opportunity to peek out of the castle here wisely. It's been a target on their back for the entire series so far. We know. Oh, yep. Yeah, that one. That one that uh, the Sojourn just shot at. That target. Oh, well, we get topped up here on that high ground, but really, the defenders haven't had a chance to sally forth from the castle whatsoever, and now the dive is upon them. Who is Goldfish? Really making sure none of the defenders have any space to work with. We're going to continue rush here off the edge. Sending Lava in. Two fish able to play within the bounds of that ultimate to give extra healing to the low ground, but Fires had have taken a ton of damage. The target focus from him is Goldfish, though, a little wayward. Could have turned that into multiple kills, but no one's healing these people, and Two Fish would be the one called up to do that. They get picked off first. One fish, two fish. Who is Goldfish? Mm hmm. Who are they really, though? They are, they, they are an enigma. I don't so far, know. though. I'm going to have to find out. Yeah, this, this team that has formed around them, though, very much locked in. You heard those comps. They are not only just having fun with it, but again, their the target calling is good. That last fight, though, when you see a lot of low health health bars, or like no one getting picked off, you're like, okay, are you just like all winning 1v1s, or, or what's going on? But they did convert into a fight win. Reverse gets lost there. They do have a continue rush to play the bridge with, though, so there's still a lot of burst damage available. Nazareth takes the fight inside the bubble. He said, that's fine, I'll set up in your terrarium. I do have the alpha to deliver. Virtue dodging out of the way of that rail gun here as Rufia backs up as they're susceptible to getting booped off the castle. They actually preempt that. They blink there from Virtue. They're able to avoid getting they melee to death. Yeah, they got the point. Got that is... Yeah, That's a C9. They got it. What do you think about that, Rose? That actually That's was a C9. A C9. Yeah. That is an actual C9. That is verified. Grade A. Free range. Okay. USDA Organic. approved. C9. Okay, well, um, now who is Goldfish should have like all of the momentum in the world after they have truly tilted their opponents out of the server. Um. <laughs> okay, well, that's what we actually saw in Colossae in the last series, like they're javelins giving you a window to find a pick. Truth Not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, watching a Sojourn go careening off in the distance is always satisfying. And for the defenders, it's a, it's a huge relief. Because they were sad. definitely struggling under the momentum of who was Goldfish. <sighs> nice kill. That's clean. That's clean. Yeah, very clean. Okay, so four minutes still left on the clock here for who is Goldfish to move only so many more meters to the end of the road. <laughs> Uh, they they're gonna have the rush like the the, the overclock the everything under the sun outside of the sound barrier so the yeah, they do have the, they do have the haunts to uh to contend with obviously no, the to switch to lava. Uh, that's true but haunts are still there though they say that you know doom comes on four legs lava able to push back in here and a later kitsune rush means a vice at half the edge and definitely also virtue gets a big pulse bomb stick onto a kiriko which is never guaranteed and Dust takes a face full of damage. It is dangerous. Fullest Winston to dive into Vizard set up now, especially within these closer quarters. Well, they tried it once. Now they have the opportunity to switch if they want to, because they used all of the ultimates under the sun. So, here you go. A uh, new posture huh. is ahead of you with the Sigma, the Bap, and the Cassidy. Okay. Well, you know what? Who likes pastures? Cows. And the Divine Bovine of Lava. Shove straight up the bridge there. And we'll force who is Goldfish back. For a time at least. Terra Surge available, should they be an engagement, which you don't expect, of course, from a poke composition like this. But Vizard need to create those themselves. And that's what's happening right now. Into a Terra Surge immediately. Dust trying to skip away. Big damage on Goldfish, though, so all they can do is pop themselves up in the air and serve themselves up as a tasty morsel. Amadi more than happy to oblige. And here's Vizard, happy to take a brawl. Well, this isn't working. No, I mean... It's fine, but if the defending team realizes that they can just rush into you with a speed boost, then you are going to struggle. Yeah, I like the switch off here. Just take the Orisa. It's looked fine for his Goldfish. They've managed the mirror relatively well. The Sigma's just yeah. too slow, so the Orisa allows you to get into the action a little bit faster, so you still have a bunch of attempts here. He needs time as well. So much of his damage is just, like, atricious. Whoa, okay. Ooh. Beautiful. Virtue able to take Asriff down, who wasn't under that immortality field wouldn't have helped him much anyway. Well, actually, it would have. would have kept him alive, but hey, it's fine detail. Uh, remember, facts and a good story. Don't worry about them. Reverse with the sound barrier here is the Zoolander. Who is Goldfish? Not finding any more success, though. 
with this Orisa switch. There's an opening here, but they aren't going to be dealing with the Kitsune Rush. And of course, Zulena has been. Beat, and then the Kitsune Rush on top of that too. So Visor really should be able to get the win here outside of a stray pick from Azra for Biz. Ooh, okay. Well, there's that's, one. That's a fantastic open from Azra. Beautiful. That didn't even need the Ant Matrix to find that elimination. Double hit scan here with the Brawl set up. It's a little unconventional, but it's worked out a treat. We'll see Bianca have that Cassidy against the Tracer pressure. Still a poke composition behind the Orisa, though. Now to find some success. Now that disrupt the shot gets extra annoying. The dead eye is extra threatening. This card is extra close. Playing from the chandelier. This is an architect throwback if we've ever seen one. As we're sending these shots in one by one, but the sound barrier makes this a tough nut to crack for the attackers. Dust is able to play from behind the pillar here, a little bit low. This dead eye will force everybody to head for the heels. Nice little peek to bait it out there from who is goldfish. And here's a terror surge in the blender. Go Vizid. Amani and Zuland are both brought to their knees. And there's nowhere to go for Lava. Great timing from Dust on that ultimate. And a well-deserved round map completion here for who's goldfish. Took them a little bit. It was like three and a half minutes, but you are happy to get the full completion, even with a little bit of time to spare. Uh, it took them a bit to figure out, though, to go to the Arisa composition. I think it was a good effort to try to make the Winston work, because at the amount of time that they had with the ultimates that they had, if they were able to throw everything in the kitchen sink at that fight and it worked out, then great. They have like over three minutes in the time bank. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, they, they got it. But do they keep it for this defense or do they want to try to rely on a defensive dive as we've seen a couple of our other teams in an A go for on maps like this? Well, I just there you go. Out in the wash, but okay, Winston? Yeah, Winston? so it is the defensive Winston. dive. Yeah, I think it's a little hard to make this work. And the defenders don't have like a great natural high ground outside of the hunting lodge, which often playing from there gives too much space sometimes. We've also seen like teams, it was like last year, I think I want to say it was the Gladiators used like a defensive Doomfist dive uh, on this first point. You've got to be really good to make it work and all the same risks of playing like a, a, a defensive dive exist here with Winston, albeit amplified because yeah. he doesn't really have the ability to cycle his cooldowns as efficiently. So once you dive, it is a few seconds before you can get involved in the fight again. That being said, I think that Who's Goldfish have had the better Winston Cop here. They've looked a little bit better in the Diet Mirror, so let's see how it plays out now as they defend. You still have the opportunity as the Winston to cut off the healing as well once you see Lava dive in on the other side. And so that's something that you are always paying attention to as a defensive dive comp is when does the Winston use their skills versus your own. Okay, bridge being contested here. I like this. So the defender's really setting the line of scrimmage quite far forward and giving themselves some actual high ground to play from, at least in, you know, in small moments. Azra though, oh, he was looking at the Winston thinking that Lava was going to die, but Virtue was able to get there and follow up on the rail gun that Amadian hit. Uh, okay, Goldfish, hello. Now we see what the team's named after. The beautiful kunai work here. Swift step away, but into the line of sight of two fish who will find a kunai kill of their own. It doesn't matter though, because what Goldfish did was more than enough to stop Visor in their tracks. Where's Biz going? Oh, Swift Step. Oh, so yeah, it's smart. Like, yeah, it's oh. like, it's like it's your like Mercy, right? It's like the Lucio right? Taxi, but like it's yeah. the budget Lucio Taxi. Yeah, you do it for your Mercy as well, right? Guardian Angel yeah. to you quickly. Lava got back pretty quickly. A DPS player. So I'll also get those. Player. That's it. I mean, it's, it's, you don't always think about it, right? But she needs to be able to GA to you to uh, get back into the fray. Well, maybe if you've you know, got a Mercy on your team in this current meta, maybe you don't want to help them. That's that's a personal decision. I'm not going to judge you for that. <laughs> but you, or maybe your maybe your Mercy is Matt Morello, and it doesn't matter if they're in the fight or not. That's also a factor. <laughs> Matt said he's catching. I know. That's great. That's fine. <laughs> I'm good with that. So we would have a good comeback good. anyway. It'd be as good as Silence. Two fish needs a health pack. Goldfish here leaning in. Really leaning in. Pulse stuck to the inside of the bubble. Forces Lava to jump out of what otherwise would have been a safe zone for them. But Two fish punishes Dust for the overextension. A little bit uncharacteristic here for who is Goldfish. They've been pretty tied up until this point, Rose. That might cost them. Yeah, like, where was the primal rage? I felt like it, it came out and then it was deleted, but everybody on Visor is so low. Dust is actually switch over to the Doomfist to see if he can get back in time. 
It's close. Okay, we have a touch here from Biss, and Azraf now is going to go for the overclock, but the sound barrier means it's going to be awful hard to see these kill opportunities. I miss all this overhealth. Lalo in a primal straight away. Nice pulse there. Dropped by the feet of Azraf, and he collects it up. Huge though. I mean, this Doomfist recontests here by Dust. And Biss is finding a quick double. Both traces here kind of popping off. This is big, and then the stagger kill on the enemy, Winston. Oh my goodness, who is Goldfish? <laughs> they are a cut above here. I mean, 1.4% left for Visor to have captured. And with all of that time off of, out of the bank, with all of those ultimates expended, Visor don't really have a choice here except to try to switch over to something that's been so trusty for them. And that's Lava going over to the Orisa to see if brute force is going to be enough to go through this defense. He's going to be pleased about that. Force the recall of Virtue, so they have to play more passively for the next eight or so seconds. Amadium will step up in the stead of the Tracer to try and make an aggressive opening happen. They do. They create one between the ears of Reverse, apparently, but that pulse is good. The Suzu, though, a little bit better. Well covered over there by Two Fish now and Dust in the power block. They're still taking almost too much damage. They're able to stay alive for long enough to get some disruption down and open it up for Azroth. But Amadium is done playing nice. They're done being subtle about it. They're not going to send a written invitation to send him back to spawn. It is going to be plenty now to get this payload unlocked, but uh, you get to go back to spawn and switch back over to the Winston. And so panic pick no longer there, and you can set up on this high ground still, uh, which is something that Lava's not going to have access to. On this Orisa, you, if you want to get up there, you have no choice but to walk, uh, which does not feel like the easiest mode of transportation. But Iman is going to help out a little bit here with this poke comp with the Cassidy... Um, well, the Beast is back. Yeah. My is and they, can play this, they can play this choke, right? Obviously, this is a really annoying position that Winston gets to set up in defensively. The Arista switch also means that Dust won't take a one to one in the front line. But it's kind of hard for the Arista to do much about the Winston if he takes a fight far enough away. We can test for now. Has the jump cooldown, of course. That's what high ground gives you the ability to just jump straight out. But Dust is definitely concerned about the rush coming in, and with Katsune Rush being applied here, it's warranted. A self suzu though, had to be used by Toothfish, and they still end up falling to the overclock damage. So many resources drawn out of Visor already. Don't bother about the sound barrier. Zoolander doesn't have the option to make use of it anyway. Another big fight win for who is Goldfish, and they are solidifying, galvanizing the control of this high ground. Oh, Nervous is going to get staggered too. Oh dear. Yeah, that's, that's about a four good. to five second stagger. I so plenty oh, no, of no. time though that okay hopefully nobody else is gonna die here but the stagger was plenty enough time that if visor still are slow on the income it's gonna be final fight look this is already 15 extra seconds off the clock it's huge. they have to get a setup here for the terror surge but whose goldfish is not letting off the gas Pulse one thrown down there by Biz. No connection now. Gonna use the Katsuna Rush inside the castle. There's the Suzu. They've drawn that cooldown out. Now pressure heads towards the back line as Dust will scatter the attackers from the top of this bridge. This is so hard to coordinate under these conditions, and Lava's the one that gets picked off first. It's a diabolical turn of events here for Vizard. And they'll have another fight, sure, but whoosh. They won't have much to bring into it. A dead eye that will struggle to find value from the low ground. Yeah, there's no good angle for you to take with that dead eye, and even still, you're trying to look at a way to be able to use his Kitsune Rush, and every single character on his Goldfish is too mobile for that. So you can lay it over the point, but Winston can jump away, and looking for an opportunity to even just jump that back line. Yeah, you've had to use the bubble to allow your Cassidy to even cross in the first place, and the damage is too much. Lava now realizes they made a big, big mistake. They're sat on the Mega at very least, but there goes the Cassidy. Press Q to respawn, as per usual. Virtue at least has some involvement here. A pulse on Azraf and single-handedly they take down both DPS players. Rapidly, Reverse is trying to return to the fight. Keep Dust nice and healthy. They jump away, leaving both their supports to fend for themselves for a time. And that's an opening that Virtue can look to exploit. Katsune Rush here in desperation, but Lava's returned to the fight. There are numbers here for Vizard now returning, and Dust has to jump out yet again. They're low, so low upon their high ground, and Goldfish has had to chase them with a the swift step to keep them in it. Dust, if they get a primal though, it could be devastating for Vizard. They have it. They're going to hit Q surely. Here they come. Katsuna rush now for the attackers and Dust is healthy enough to go for it. They hold off on ulting for long enough to find two fish. And this is over. Vizard here. Fall at this second hurdle as who is Goldfish? Trade aggression so effectively with this defensive dive. They are incredibly clean.
It's been looking really good. And dive is one of those compositions that we always say takes a high amount of team coordination as well as just clear communication in general from the team to execute. And so we're seeing that not only on the dive, which has looked so clinical, just rotating through cooldowns and picks, but on the defense too, knowing when they're just like, we're not going to give you time to set up. And I think Sorry. what's huge for, for who is Goldfish is that they don't allow the card to progress into a part of the map where the Winston gets demonstrably weaker in that last phase. They, in fact, get to play from, like, stronger positions for the entire map. You know, on defense, they'll move up and take that first bridge. And then as they for are forced back to the second phase, they get to exploit this immobile Arisa comp that has to do the same thing over and over again, walk up into the castle. So the Winston gets to drop down behind them, harass their back line, jump back up, deal with the Orisa pushing in, maybe create some space there. A very, like, like a fundamentally, like, really sound play from, from who is Goldfish. And I said the other last map, oh, well, as we move on to these hybrid escort maps, maybe the more macro uh, elements of the game become more relevant here. Um, I would say that they didn't on Eichenveld. Uh, we didn't see enough of the map here because the defensive dive, the protocols and coordination of who is Goldfish is too clean. It was really sick. And again, great individual play for both sides on the DPS side, especially. Like, Amadi looked very, very good there, yeah. but it's not enough. Like, they just aren't able to get enough done. And that's going to start to get frustrating as we head to what might be our last map in this series. Absolutely. I think what's uh, so interesting is to just see how Visor is going to adapt to this. I you think you called out something really important about going into that third point is really where we would have started to see the Winston struggle. And so who is Goldfish recognizing we really can't let that happen and making sure that they shut off all access to their team playing from that high ground because who else is going to go up there? It's certainly not going to be the Orisa unless she grows wings and we see Pegasus now flying around the map. Um, but hey, it's... that's a mirror watch. That's coming. Don't worry. That's <laughs> you, you've leaked it, you've leaked it. <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm going to get fired. Um, but no, it's a, it's really great to see the team also just having fun. And so I'd love to yeah. go back to listen to the beginning comms that we got from that map. Yeah, ready? Three, two, one. Everybody emo. Oh, oh, that's cold. <laughs> what up, baby? Oh. Cold, cold as hell. Cold, cold as hell. As hell. Yeah, my fucking team. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, like, honestly, that was kind of cool. Magic. That was a little icy with it. You know what I mean? I was kind of feeling that. That it's had a really. That felt like the start of every fight in JoJo. Honestly, <laughs> like a slow walk. Like nani. It was great. I wanna, it was, I it was really that. good. I, I did feel like I was watching an anime, and then yeah. all of a sudden it turned into a circus. Uh, so that that felt good. Uh <laughs> There's got to be a good circus anime out there somewhere. There's a great ballroom anime. I don't know if you've seen Ballroom Iyoka. I have I not. That one. Oh, okay, dude. You've got to wait. It's actually so good. I, I, yeah, okay, it's really, really good. Anyway, moving right the heck along before we fall down a, another different rabbit <laughs> I hole. I could go down anime. that rabbit hole for a very long time. Yeah. That is, I mean, that, that anime is actually goated. Uh, very, very worth checking out here. In fact, all anime about, like, kind of obscure things, or, like, sports animes, all tend to be, like, really good. Right? Ice skating anime. So Yeah, good. okay. Seen that one. That was actually, yes. yeah. God. Why are Super so good. Good. Yeah, Food Wars. <laughs> oh, Food Wars is great. <laughs> I'm reminded of that by watching started. the lobster. Oh, there's, never, there's no better anime character than Dojima Gin. He is unbelievable. <laughs> oh, well, maybe the guy maybe the guy from um, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen that reminds me of him. You're like, that. Uh, Toto Aoi. He's like very similar, but I know. I love that trope. Anyway, we are here to witness map three. As who is Goldfish look to keep themselves alive in this group and kind of impress all of the judges while we're on the topic of Food Wars. It's going to be Arisa versus Winston here. We've seen this played out before. We saw this played out in an Overwatch League Grand Final just quietly. And Winston does have play into this Arisa setup. And who is Goldfish looks so good on this comp? It does have play here. And we're really going to just see the lack of mobility options from Visor if this Winston can continue to shut down one of these DPS or one of these supports. All right. Dust has to be careful. You said that jump away. There will be a lot of disengagements and those windows, Rose, Oop. they do leave like open pockets, right? Where you can jump in and punish a player. If you're if the enemy Winston's behind their back line, that can be pretty dangerous. Dust has to be very careful with how they disengage. 
it's not only that, but I think what the Arista composition is going to have to weave in is those spears. Like you noticed, uh, poor Reverse got pinned up against a wall. Uh, you also had Asruf that got caught out of position. And so while we see the Winston being able to have some staying power in these types of matchups, it takes a little bit longer to set up than the Arista that's just going to walk towards somebody else on your own team. So you cannot leave your backline vulnerable. Timing is paramount for how Who is Goldfish activate these dives. Bridge control here for the Arisa comp. It's another tough problem for the Winston to unravel. Julana wants to try and knock Dust off here. Biz takes a big smack. So far, though, Dust has been able to stay away from the pointier edges of the visor comp. Nothing pointy about a pulse bomb, but still, Dust wants to stay scarce of that one. And Lava gets hit by one on the other side of the map. Once more, Biz derives an advantage in the one to one, but they fall. Get caught out by Zoodlander. Look how low Dust is. Yeah, they can't keep him up. They're going to continue to rush. Defensively, you need the haste, I think, on this, this healing because with the Lucio, you just don't have the burst healing to keep the Winston fighting. Still, they're able to avoid a lot of that damage. And Amarnian fell there. Zulani going down means who is Goldfish? They're good to go. Oh, look at that, too. I mean, it's just clean up time right now for the rest of the Winston in the cleave. And they get a chance to take back control of this cart. Uh, so at this point, you want a one more team fight win, and then you're able to unlock that checkpoint for yourself. But who is Goldfish have a lot to be able to do that with? I'm looking at Primal Rage to be a great disruption tool here, especially paired with the overclock. You might just be able to set up a skeet shot for this soldier. Ooh, okay, Ooh. there it is. Ooh. I mean, that clay pitcher was on the ground. I don't know if that gives you more points or less. I'm going to say probably the latter. But Azra doesn't care. It's a player advantage. That's all they're looking for here. All of Visor are yeah, playing from that choke here. This will allow who is Goldfish to start to threaten Visor's me to its total. If they can't take the lead back, uh, Visor are waiting for Amani to get back into this fight. And then, beat engage. Yeah, they do a beat, but disrupt it, I think, with the primal. I like this a lot. Yeah, the Winston bubble there is really scary, and Lava took a face full of damage there. Also, Two Fish somehow is barely clinging to life. The pressure on the Arisa is immense, and Reverse, I would rather, they have to go for the sound barrier. Zoolander, excuse me, had that force out of them, seeing how low their tank was. Reverse had one of their own, though. Lava, with the Terra Surge, doesn't do too much, but allow for the disengagement, but oh my, Biz, right under their noses, sneaks the bot to the checkpoint. Visit are reeling. Still charging up. Huh. I don't know if I should call that a C9. Well, remember, I mean, you are the Grand Arbiter in all things C9, so you are, you have this great power and responsibility to to confer that title. Man, I'm just going to call that a back cap. All right, cool. I think it just has to be a back cap. Like, uh, how were... Uh, Visor was so aware of what was in front of them that they just didn't have a... They didn't see it. They couldn't fight. I mean, they, they were recently oh. stuck on the stairwell. Yeah, I mean... You can't get there. You are too pressured. Two fish now. Throwing some shapes. Shurikens to follow them. Behind the Katsune Rush here. Visor never get back into the game here. But it's still a decent little lead gained by Goldfish now. Plus that checkpoint. So they'll be, they'll, we'll be able to come back here and assail this. Albeit from a weaker position. Like having to come from here as defenders or the team that doesn't have bot control can be difficult. Especially with the Cassidy ensconced on that high ground. But they have They're going to go for it anyway. Okay, so they're going to send Winston up on the high ground. They are going to be looking straight at the Arisa, though. Look at this damage. Look at those health bars dwindle away. Beautiful fan the hammer there from Mamadian. That's a phrase I never thought I'd utter, but it's enough to get the kill on the Lucio. And everybody, though, is lined up for Azeroth. And it looks less like a corridor, more like the Large Hadron Collider. Or a particle cannon. That's yeah. <laughs> Basically what it is, I suppose. I, no, I yeah, think you know... Shout uh, out, sir. Particle cannon. For the, Keep up the good work. Smashing particles together, find the Higgs boson. I love it. Science. Pretty rad. Yeah. Is that recall? Very early from Virtue. This here up to move the, the, the battle lineup, excuse me, a little bit closer. And now just around the corner, you'll see Lava play until we have a speed boost, a chance to go in. Trade a little bit. Dust now. That's uncomfortable. Hit by the Javelin. Huge damage. The Goldfish will take some time to fix. They have to back up because they don't want to get overexposed to Virtue in the front line, especially knowing that they have the Pulse Bomb. But this just didn't have recall. Yeah, I couldn't get away from that. Again, a lot of that good poke damage, but somehow, who's Goldfish dropped dust down on the low ground behind the action that we were watching? And they've just cracked heads together inside that close-quartered space. Oh, man, that is... I mean, if 
if there's anything that's more of an indictment of how they're struggling against this Winston comp, it's that. Like, I don't know how you sort of end up losing that fight, but who is Goldfish? Start their own engagement on Bison's backline, just as we're watching Virtue dominate. Well, the Winston bubble is there to isolate the backline, and once you pop that bubble down, then Lava can't get any healing. So then that Arisa is isolated, the rest is history, and who's Goldfish are already uh, on an angle. Now, Jack has a name for this kind of angle. It's very specific. I'll let him tell you what it is, but it was good. Azraf finding probably the perfect target there, silencing the Cassidy at the start of the fight. And Lava's just trying to get away with some bravado and a twirl of the javelin, though. It's not enough to give them the spacing they need. And this is starting to get a little out of hand now. Off the back of that big pick, with the Marnian out of the fight early, Azraf is generating some huge opportunities with his railguns. Not only that, but having the overclock here for this nice giant straightaway, I, I think it's a soldier and you're feeling so nice about that. Virtue is sneaking into the background though, but while that's while that's happening, the fight's in the front. Okay, Azor got hindered there, so they couldn't even slide away. Nice use of the mag grenade, but they were already well and truly caught inside that terror surge. But if you're here as goldfish, I would have expected you to let Vice just blow these ultimates. Instead, they invest defensively the sound barrier as well as Azeroth, of course, wanting to make use of that overclock there. So maybe a little bit of composure lost there for who is Goldfish as they're on the precipice of a full cap. But now they're going to have to wind back the clock a little bit. I don't know if you need the full cap, though. Like, you already have such an like a insurmountable meterage lead. It's over double what Pfizer has been able to accumulate already. Yeah, but it's great banter, though, isn't it? Yeah. Is that, it, give me a full cap, it's great banter. You're like, again, <laughs> true, it'll, it'll, true. Add, to the, add to the list of accolades, you know, uh, coming you together to an hour C9? beforehand. Yeah, you, got to the C9. You got to the, yeah, to give us the yeah. full cap. You lost to a team called Who Is Goldfish. Yeah, yeah, the Biz Riz. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> overclocked in this particular game. Ooh, that's nice from Virtue. Fortunately though, it is going to be Suzu to away. Kiriko moment, to quote Mr. Rice. And now the chase is on. Virtue's force right on back here as Biz gets in their face. There's now a pulse bomb available for who is Goldfish. And constant damage. Why is it taking a beating on every front? These health bars are constantly sitting below 60%. And it's a lot of pressure for two fish to try and get them back into the fight. There's that stick we've been waiting for. It's good pressure on Lava, but no kill. Amadian takes dust out of the fight. But two fish clearly not as good as Goldfish. And it will be another push up for the latter. The entirety of who is Goldfish now starting to stagger this fight out, or at least get the bot back in territory where they're stronger. Either that high ground or close to the straightaway. With a minute, just over a minute left in the round, Rose, they've got to be feeling comfortable. They should be feeling comfortable. They have ultimate advantage. Amadian's going to finally go over to the Sojourn and have a bit more of presence when it comes down to that DPS duel between themselves and Azraf. But uh, uh, alt economy is in who is Goldfish's hands or fishbowl, or whatever. And it's going to be an uphill battle here for Pfizer to have to climb. Or swim. Zoolander able to deny this flanking angle for now. But Biz is pretty insistent. They're going to be drawing Virtue over there to try and stop them. Dust jumps to the high ground. And you're kind of right. I think who's going for to agree with you. They'd much rather use this perch, abuse it rather, than push for a full cap. Slave Azrof gets him out of dodge. Maybe the masonry blocks some of that line of sight there. It's hard to say because the sound barrier negated any of the damage coming from Lava's ultimate anyway. So the Aris is dead. That's not great. Record scratch. You're probably wondering how I got here. Who was Goldfish now? Start to get the thumb screws a little tighter. At this point, too, they don't even have to push the bot. They just have to wait, basically, for the rest of the team to come to them because it's overtime. Now, Visard have no choice but to stick to this bot like glue or they will just simply go home. So Lava going into the Winston here. Needing that extra mobility. Getting sick of being jumped over every time. Great landing there. Three players on who's going to get caught with it, but Lava, yeah, that was a pulse bomb, I think, from Biz. And then they disrupt the shot to finish off the kill. He's hunting for their next target now. Virtual Vice, you pick. It won't matter now as Vizard are about to be eliminated from stage two of our Overwatch Champions Series. Who is Goldfish? Get themselves a win in this Group A. So we really got a chance to see what Who is Goldfish is made of. This poor Toronto Defiant loss uh, never feels good, but they did get a chance to show us that maybe Who is Goldfish is them. I'm, I'm liking this team a lot. I really... like. I, 
I'm glad to see them play a lot of this Winston comp. They're also, I think they've tried to play a fair bit of Sigma as well. Uh, so Winston Sigma definitely seemed to be their go-to here, but when they had to play the Arisa Mirror, it was very reasonable. It definitely wasn't their best look, but I'm still constantly shocked about how this team has come together under such a short amount of time, Zoe. They were very clean. These executions looked good. Yeah, and I mean, uh, Necra said it during the cast too. Dive is the composition where that one requires coordination, great comms, and a really deep understanding of just the fundamentals of who has to do what. And they seem to have just that. They looked really, really good in their match. Although I do have to say, I did love that uh, the first map was on the competitive side. Like it felt like, okay, so now we see... Yeah. The, the real uh, teams are right there since they unfortunately both got 3-0'd in their opening matches of the group stages. Now of course who is Goldfish are keeping themselves alive. Let's once more revisit some of the highlights and uh, talk about who stood out to us. Well, I mean straight away we saw both traces I think really make a pretty big impact. We went to the second round obviously like in university and obviously this is maybe not where Winston shines as much. So this is where uh, you know, we got to see Vizard bring out their Orisa comp, which looked really solid. Uh, Dust is playing at a disadvantage into this, like it's a difficult situation for the Winston to find success. But then we went to City Center, Lana had to play the Winston too. You just can't be left behind as the Orisa. Uh, and again, the Sojourn play, the Trace play was really good. I think Goldfish had a couple points across this series, has been very solid. The Suzy's were on point. Also, both teams' sound barrier timing was indistinguishable from some of our top teams in these groups. Like, generally, there weren't any missed opportunities there. Time and time again, Reverse and Zoolander doing more than just a serviceable job here. Uh, Akinvold was definitely, uh, you know, Dust's playground, I think. This Winston play from the high ground was very hard to deal with. It was I mean, it's one of those maps, right? Like, you don't you don't really want to play Orisa into a situation like that. If no. the high ground on that second point is just, yeah. <laughs> Oppressive. Yeah, and I think it was really clear, though, that Dust had great map awareness on both Eichenwald as well as Esperanza. I think you could tell that he's practiced on this map. He understands where the best places are going to be to actually take a dive fight, especially versus an Orisa composition, which is one of NA's favorites right now. I mean, Indeed. It, and again, like we've we've seen like at the top level, like the Winston versus Arisa comps. I'm pretty sure like Houston, Florida played that in the grand final. Like they they played like you know that kind of matchup, and it's it's really interesting because both teams had to play vastly differently. But I'm about this. The Winston play was chef's kiss. Again, you look a lot better when you know your Sojourn or Tracer just like blows up an enemy key target at the start of a fight. But even like the, the primals were good. There was some serious struggling, especially I think on that first round of Oasis. But in general, like dust spacing, the positioning, which is super important uh, as, a, as a tank, especially in a Winston comp, uh, was absolutely on point. And it can be scary sometimes to dive into an Arisa comp. You have to drag them apart piece by piece. You cannot engage in the same way that they're looking to. But Dust understood this very well and used all of the, you know, the really ratty, powerful Winston perches over these maps to make sure that he had a good engagement, uh, engagement like 95% of the time. It was solid Winston play, a really, really great backline, and then, of course, the DPS duo who really made their impact felt all serious long. And we have uh, the winning comms actually ready for you, so let's listen in. Okay, I can shoot, I can shoot. 3-1, no T-Tone. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Okay, they can't touch you. There you hear it. Those were the winning moments. And we now have uh, Asrop joining us for a quick chat. Okay, first things first. We've been told that you want to keep the identity of Goldfish a secret. Is it someone we know now? I feel like we're playing trip. Are they in the room with us right now? Are they in the room with us? No, they're not, no. Goldfish is a secret, man. I can't, I, can't, I don't even know who that guy is myself. <laughs> wow, that's oh. intense. The plot thickens. Uh, I love that. We love a good storylines. We were, we were uh, trying to figure out some storylines because a lot of uh, the players from your team and, of course, the opposition here as well weren't as known to us. Can you tell us a little bit about your team and how you guys got together? Yeah, so um, we got together 20 minutes before roster lock 
Uh, Love that. Epit, our manager, <laughs> who's uh, the manager of Timeless and a bunch of other teams in the scene, he's pretty prominent. Uh, he helped us get us all together. And from then, we just kind of played Swiss and took it map by map. I mean, where do you start first when you are coming together as a team like that? Because I think what impressed us most of all is that normally, like the Winston dive comps, especially on defense, like some of those maps, are really hard to pull off. Like, you need coordination. You have to be on the same page. So, how have you gone from literally not knowing who each other are, in some cases, that's still the case for you guys, which is fine, to having like quite a great level of coordination here that allows a lot of your individuals to shine, especially on like the Icon Vault map, was very clean. Yeah, I mean, we've all played like Winston comps and the way that Overwatch 2 is set up right now, we have um, a lot of comps that are constantly in and out of rotations that we're forced to play. So I think everybody kind of knows their role already, which really helps when you're surrounded by good players. And it's just a matter of meshing our personalities and like figuring out our comps and stuff. Because, yeah. Oh my god, that, that walkout you guys did was so fun. Uh, can you like talk <laughs> yeah. us through how it feels to not only play these competitive matches, but just play as a team of friends now? I mean, the vibes are always pretty good. Um, there's there's times where we'll, we'll be kind of upset with our mistakes, and obviously that's fine. It's a heated match, you know? We're always like, we're always looking to be the best versions of ourselves that we can be, so. I understand like that's how it is but of course you know it's a game we're gonna have fun with it and that's that's just the way we are and it translates onto the server and onto what we're seeing if we can tell that the you know the players are having fun with it and now you are still on the brink of elimination your upcoming match will be against the uh, dill dogs d hill dogs the dogs whatever um what do you know about that team how do you think you're matching up against them yeah, I mean, I know Razor recently swapped to Flex DPS, so he's been playing Flex support for a while, but he was contenders back in the day for Flex DPS, so it'll definitely be kind of hard. But, I mean, I think I think if you guys think it's an upset, we're ready to pull it off. Well, I'm, I'm not so sure it I'm is. I'm excited. I don't, I, don't, I don't think it actually is. Like, based on what we've seen from you guys today, I hope for a very close match. However, yeah. it has to wake, uh, wait a week, so for now, we're going to let you go once again. Congrats on the dub, and can't wait to see more of you in the squad. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye-bye.